One of the most important tools that you have in your toolbox as a writer is dialogue. Dialogue is when a character says or thinks something in a story. In this video, you're going to learn how to write engaging dialogue, how to punctuate dialogue correctly, and how to paragraph dialogue. Let's look at an example. I've got you now, Bart snickered as he snuck up behind Lisa. She heard him coming. Yeah, right, she thought. She turned around quickly and stuck her finger in the water gun. Water sprayed all over Bart's face. You sure got me, she laughed and walked away. So why do authors use dialogue? Authors use dialogue to move the action forward. When Bart says, I've got you now, right? He snickers it as he's sneaking up on Lisa. That instantly starts the action. We can imagine Bart sneaking up on Lisa and saying, I've got you now. It reveals something about the character or the relationships between characters. When Lisa hears Bart sneaking up on her and she thinks, yeah, right. Or later when she says, you've sure got me, right, as she's laughing at him, we can tell that Lisa thinks Bart's kind of a joke. And then lastly, to help the reader to imagine the moment. So let's look at an example from a published story, The School Play by Gary Soto. One of the most important things that, that dialogue does is it does reveal aspects of the character. So as I read this excerpt from the school play, I want you to ask yourself, what can we learn about Miss Bunyan from her dialogue? Miss Bunyan, biting on the end of her pencil, said, Louder, both of you! Belinda stepped up, nostrils flaring, so that the shadows of her nose quivered and said louder, Sucka, is there something wrong with your eyeballs? Nothing's wrong, I can see. Louder, make sure the audience can hear you, Miss Bunyan directed. She tapped her pencil hard against the desk. She scolded, Robert, I'm not going to tell you again to quit fooling with that beard. It's itchy. We can't do anything about that. Actors need props. You're a doctor. Now try again. So what can we learn about Miss Bunyan from her dialogue? Well, one of the things that I can learn, the fact that she keeps yelling at her students louder, louder, right? She says she scolds Robert. Robert, I'm not going to tell you again to quit fooling with your beard, is that she's not the nicest teacher, right? She's not very patient with her students. And maybe she's not that nice. Later on, okay, when she says, um, we can't do anything about that. Actors need props. You're an actor. Now try again. Um, I also learned that she's kind of harsh, right? She, she's like, no, no complaining. Just deal with it. It's an itchy beard. Deal with it. She's kind of harsh. So today, as you're playing with your dialogue, I want you to think about how can I reveal aspects of the character in my dialogue? So let's learn about punctuating dialogue because this is really hard. So there are three rules for how you're going to punctuate dialogue, and they're so important. Rule number one, if the character says it or thinks it, you need to put it in quotation marks. So for example... Miss Bunyan, biting on the edge of her pencil, said, louder, both of you. Because Miss Bunyan says it, I need to put it in quotation marks. Rule number two, the punctuation goes on the inside of the quotation mark. So whatever it is, it needs to go on the inside of the quotation mark. So for example here, when he's, when um, she says, Sucka, is there something wrong with your eyeballs? The, qu the um, question mark goes on the inside. If that was a period or an exclamation, it would also go on the inside of the quotation marks. And then lastly, rule number three. If you're wanting to write how the character said it after the quote, you're going to put a comma inside the quotation marks. So let's look at an example. Louder, make sure the audience can hear you, Miss Bunyan directed. Because I want to say how Miss Bunyan is saying this, I'm not, although I would like to have an exclamation mark here, I'm not going to put an exclamation mark. Instead, I'm going to make it a comma, and then afterwards, I'm going to say the character's name and how they said it. So, 
punctuating dialogue is important. Paragraphing dialogue is equally as important. So your fourth rule for the day is if there is a new speaker, if two different people speak, you need to start a new paragraph. So for example, let's look at this. In this first paragraph, we have Miss Bunyan speaking. Right, she says, louder both of you. Then Belinda speaks, or she says, Sucka, is there something wrong with your eyeballs? Here we have Robert speaking, Miss Bunyan speaking, Robert speaking, Miss Bunyan speaking. So I want you to notice that we never have, we don't have this, right? I'll show this to you. We don't have something that looks like this, right? We don't have two different people speaking in the same paragraph. If there is a new speaker, there needs to be a new paragraph. So your four rules, let's review them. Rule number one, if the character says it or thinks it, you need to put it in quotation marks. Rule number two, the punctuation always goes inside the quotation mark. Rule number three, if you're wanting to say how a character says it, you need to put a comma inside the quotation marks. And rule number four, if there's a new speaker, you need a new paragraph. So here's your quick flash draft for the day. I am going to ask that you pause the video right now. And you're going to try to imagine that you're listening in on a conversation between two people. You're going to write their conversation your goal is to use all four of the dialogue rules. Okay, right now I'm going to ask for you to pause the video. I'm going to ask for you to give yourself about three to four minutes. If you need a little bit longer, that's okay, but don't spend all your time on this. This should be short. You're going to imagine that you're listening in on a conversation. It doesn't matter what it's about, and you'll write down the conversation. Try to use all four of our rules. Once you're done, you're going to get started on your longer flash draft. Your longer flash draft is going to be where you are using dialogue as the primary tool for advancing the action. So here's your directions. Write a flash draft where the dialogue is the primary tool for advancing the action. You're trying to create excitement and action in your writing through dialogue. Your flash draft must include the following dialogue. You could use it to start or to end your piece or use it somewhere in the middle to advance the action. So here is the dialogue that I'm giving you. You told me it was safe, I whispered, feeling my pulse begin to quicken. I lied, he said. So I want you to imagine this story. This could be your first two sentences of your story. That's fine, of your flash draft. Or this could be the end. Maybe you have something crazy happen. And then the person says, you told me it was safe. And then the other person says, I lied. Be creative. Have fun. Make sure that you are following the four rules of using dialogue.